I'd like to do a video review of the updated flight model for the F-15 Eagle. And um, this is a unique aircraft in that it's one of the first modern non-fly-by-wire aircraft to be modeled in a flight simulation or in a combat simulation, namely digital combat sims. Um, most of the aircraft, if, if you think about it, that are modeled um, you know, Jane's F-18 is a fly-by-wire aircraft. Uh, the F-16 and Falcon BMS is also fly-by-wire. Uh, so this is a little bit different, and uh, some of the Russian aircraft are hydraulically powered. This is a hydraulically uh, powered aircraft, which augments the movements of the fighter stick into uh, movements of the control panel. Okay, so you can see the aileron moves, and they're pretty much hydraulically powered direct linkages. Uh, however much I move the control, it's however much the uh, controls move on the uh, on the uh, surfaces. You know, fly by wire has the uh, flight computer which actually manages what you can and can't do. And so the interesting thing about the F-15 is that it's a the pilot is able to move the aircraft to the absolute edge of the envelope, envelope where sometimes fly by wire would wouldn't allow you to get in certain situations. Also makes the aircraft dangerous because it can enter into uh, uh, flat spins and you know heavy departures, uh, stalls and things like that. Uh, so that's interesting. Whereas an F-16, it could let you fly very close to the edge of the envelope and still keep you within safe parameters. The F-15, you can fully fly uh, up to the edge and even outside of the envelope and uh, get the aircraft in some really nasty situations. Uh, so what I'll do is <coughs> just start the aircraft. I'll do a pattern around the Timmy here. And very simple startup. All right, it's a good start on the engines and we'll taxi. And first thing that I noticed when um, taxiing the aircraft, you can see the flight path marker bouncing around. That's because of the unevenness of the ground here. Alright, so we'll taxi out to runway 31 here in Batumi and uh, test this baby out. The Eagle is one of the last true remaining dedicated fighters that is purely built for an intercept uh, situation. Now the E-Model, the Strike Eagle, can do some amazing air-to-ground stuff with the uh, two-man crew. But this is just a, a pure interceptor. And I'll demonstrate a maximum performance takeoff. Yeah. 
have to take off cut one one. Alright, so uh, I'll go ahead and engage 80% on the RPM. And you can see the aircraft uh, vibrating, which is really cool. Intel, passing waypoint this flight three, model is 20, a lot better than the, uh, the FC-3 default flight model. And I'll venture to say that this might be uh, the best flight model. Me and a buddy of mine were having to talk about this. The best flight model of a modern uh, aircraft that's not fly-by-wire. It's just hydraulically powered. And uh, it's pretty awesome. It's it's a lot like the uh, A2A or the uh, P-51 in this, where you feel, feel the airframe uh, shaking and vibrating. And you'll notice as we do maneuvers up, up at altitude how cool it is. All right, so as soon as you kick in military power, we'll go buster. And when you throw in the afterburner, just listen to the sounds. You really feel the acceleration. Maximum power takeoff here. You can see the power that this thing has is just un unbelievable. Now this was meant to climb up to about 30,000 feet in a very short amount of time so it could intercept uh, any bombers. And it's got great low speed handling as you can see here. Now again this is a completely stick and rudder aircraft so there's no uh, fancy fly-by-wire to keep you safe. I, I got the volume up pretty loud right now just so you can hear some of the uh, sounds. Alright, so we came up to, to about 25,000 feet in about 30 seconds. Let's see the air intake self adjusting for the maximum amount of air airflow in the engine. And we'll hit something like 300 knots. Starts in G maneuvering. All right, so to the right, you can see the uh, G, G amount right there, 3.5. And as you fly the aircraft, just pay attention to that flight path mark. You can really see it bobbing and moving in the airflow. Uh, I'll try a snap roll to the left. I'm not sure I went to the right. You can see the uh, engine exhaust coming out of the back there. Alright, let's do the split S. Hear the airframe sounds. I'll do a maximum G turn. Seven. And I'll try to get in the slow flight here. Now, I'll hold the stick all the way up and notice what the aircraft does. And keep it in slow flight. So there it is in a stalled configuration. And I'll take it up to 150 and I'll keep full back pressure on the stick. Just notice the uh, really nice slow speed handling that the Eagle has. Yeah, 
the sounds are really good. It gives you a sensation of what the aircraft's doing. And a real F-15 with the cabin pressurized and the helmet on and some earplugs. You might not hear anything at all, but uh, the sounds really give you an indication of what's happening to the aircraft. And it's hard to describe. You just have to try it out for yourself. The aircraft just really feels alive. Even in a Cessna, when you're pulling G on the aircraft, you can hear the, uh, the wind deflecting off of the aircraft itself. And that's what you hear in this flight model. So I'll try to do an overhead break here at the center of the runway. And one thing you'll notice is that the Eagle does not like to slow down. So even at idle power, you'll still maintain a lot of a lot of energy on the jet, a lot of airspeed. So here I am at idle, and notice how long it takes. About 70% RPM for idle. And we'll just take quite a long time to slow down. And another interesting thing is notice the rudder. If I kick out right rudder, and it centers. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. Kick out left rudder, and it centers. Right rudder and left rudder. I'm going to come back around. You got those two big engines back there giving you tons of thrust. That's why the aircraft doesn't like to slow down. And it's also very streamlined as well. I'll get the gear down. I'll get landing flaps down as well. Alright, so 170 on the airspeed. I do want to come in a bit faster in the Eagle. Uh, maybe, I'm just guessing here, 170, 180 or so seems comfortable. And like I said, even at idle power, this thing just maintains energy. See, 150, completely idle power. not to get behind the power curve, which is hard to do in the Eagle because it has a lot of power. Okay, I'll go ahead and extend the speed brake. And I'll start my flare here. touchdown. You could just you could feel the uh, aircraft rolling, notice the flight path marker shaking. Hold about 10 degrees up. So just arrow break it. And as the nose comes down we'll engage the uh, engage the brakes here. Alright, so that was just a tiny demonstration for the new flight model in the Eagle. I hope you guys uh, try it out. It's really a, a remarkable uh, airframe and uh, it does feel a lot like something A2A would produce in DCS. The flight model feels very, very good. I've never flown an Eagle, but uh, it does feel very realistic and uh, it's good. So, hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys next time.